And it's now time for game three of the second annual Nebraska Girls Basketball Showcase. And it's been a fun two first games. And now we are at game three for this one. Coming at an overall record of five and five, the Grand Island Northwest Vikings representing Class B, and then the Clarkson Lee Patriots with an overall record eight and three out of C2. It looks like we're getting ready for starting lineups, so we'll send it to the score table, and let's meet today's starting lineups. Booth between the Vikings and the Patriots coming up matchup three of the Nebraska girls basketball showcase and the first two games were fun and it's time to expect another fun one here Clarkson Lee like we said eight and three on the year C2 GI Northwest five and five class B both teams actually were in action last night as uh, Clarkson Lee got a 67 34 victory over East Butler and then GI Northwest with a 47 36 victory over Columbus Lakeview yeah, that one, Cannon, is kind of gives us maybe a barometer of how this one might go. I expect a low 40, low 50s, high 40s kind of game. Uh, Columbus Lakeview uh, Northwest got hot kind of in the fourth quarter with some shots, and uh, Columbus Lakeview beat this Clarkson Lee team, one of their three losses, 37-34 earlier this season. So I expect this, even though there's a two-class difference, I think it's going to be a really competitive uh, basketball game. And when you look at Clarkson Lee, Chloe Honnell, a uh, really, really good basketball player for the Patriots. And let's play basketball here as Riley Light Rice has the basketball over there. Let's kick it at the top of the key here. Good play, settle there to Cushing. One on one there, nice screen. They're gonna set up, ooh, almost out of bounds there off of Mater, but stolen away there by Clarkson Lee. And it's Chloe Hunnell with the ball, passes it off here. Back to Hunnell. They're gonna attack that far side there with Held. McKenna Held, nice screen there. Held's gonna drive back door. Thought about the shot, kicks it out there. One on one, Riley Rice trying to get the block. Ooh, they're gonna go in the corner. And Hanol's like, nope, we're not gonna shoot it. Let's just drive. Drive, shot, and no good. It's rebounded there by the Vikings. That's Reba Mater with the rebound. Northwest puts Reba Mater on. Hanol, their best defensive player, probably their quickest player as well. Reba's an excellent all state shortstop for the Viking softball team. Avon Urbanski, probably the best shooter on the Northwest team. And Avon, Avon Urbanski with the, I call it the college three. What a deep WNBA three. WNBA three there. That one was deep. Beautiful three, and that's the first points of the ball game. Three nothing Vikings here in the first quarter. Drive there is going to be, that was Setchi, Kennedy Setchi with the drive. Draws foul, go to the line, shoot two. A lot of ball screen action for Clarkson Lee early. So Grand Island Northwest is going to have to fight through those ball screens, allow space, keep them in front. 
and Rice is credited with the first foul of the ball game. The first one on the way. It is good. So Sechi will be at the line to shoot one more. Trying to make it a one point lead for the Vikings. Expect maybe a little bit of pressure too from Clarkson Lee in this one. And they cut the lead to one. It's now three to two, but GI Northwest still leads it here. Urbanski receives that pass. They're going to go back door. Oh, but Riley Rice is there for that one. Kept it in. Ball on the ground. On it now in the hands of Sechi. Sechi's going to drive. Loses it now. Stolen away by Northwest. Here comes Rice. Rice stops. Shot. Glass. It's in. Nice shot there by Riley Rice. Good look ahead there from Maddie Cushing as uh, Grand Island Northwest gets some transition baskets there. Now Kennedy Sechi with the basketball. She's going to cut into the middle. Kicks it out there to. I believe Chloe Hunnell. Correction, that's now back to Hunnell there. Or no, it's Sechi. <laughs> we'll just get set up there. Spin move. Sechi drives. Shut. Off the glass. No good. It's going to be brought down by Northwest. And that's Whitney Lohman with the, with the board. Great rebound by Whitney Lohman. And then Reba Mater attacks the basket. Grand Island Northwest attacking uh, full court there. A great look ahead from Avon Urbanski. 7 to the score. Vikings lead it here early in the first quarter. Clarkson Lee's going to drive, kick it here to Hanel. Now in the corner for Kennedy Sechi. Top of the key there. That's going to be. They're going to go down low to Hanel. Hanel with the shot and no good. Corby went. Nice job there. Went, had the ball, just passed down to Hanel. Hanel kissed the glass. A little too much power, but it is a foul on the Vikings. Cushing credit with the foul. Again, a lot of screening and cutting from Clarkson Lee. And Northwest has got that cutter in front of their face just a couple times, which leads to some, some easy baskets. And now with a free throw. And right. she's a guard, but she's got size, 5'11". She'd be the tallest player out there uh, for Northwest. So really good ball skills and, and does a nice job. The second one on the way is no good. Brought down there by Riley Rice. Looks like 1-3-1 now for um, Clarkson Lee. Ooh, miscommunication there, but Rice is going to come up. Ooh, still on the ground. Rice now picks up the basketball. He's going to bounce pass it here to Urbanski. Urbanski all the way there to Cushing. Cushing with the three attempt. It's good. Ooh. And I think they're going to get four fouling Mater. I believe Northwest is going to get it out under here. I think they're going to get Kennedy Sechi on a, on, a, on a hold foul. So now Northwest with a chance to, to add on to it. So Looks the, like timeout here for Clarkson Lee. The basket does count, and we will take a quick break with them. It is 10 to 10-3, Vikings with the, with the strong lead. 10-3 to 3 here, 5-16 here in quarter number one. This when is the second. is in store or online, your traffic is on the road or the web, or you meet customers in person or virtually, your business needs to be connected to customers, the market, and the world. Discover the difference that comes from working with a local team of experts with over a century of experience providing custom fiber-driven solutions to businesses across the Midwest. We understand the changing needs of your Midwestern business because we are a Midwestern business. Great Plains Communications, high-performing network, high-performing people. Cushing, yes, Cushing right. made the last three, yep. And welcome back here to Kearney High School. Man, what a start, a long drive, and you're going to see here a beautiful three. Madison Cushing, nice pass there. In your face, style three drops it in, and that's what led to a foul. But then now it's 10 to 3, the score here early in the first quarter. And we resume action here. It's Madison Cushing with the ball. Now it goes to Riley Rice. Rice is going to go down low to cut. Whitney Lohman back passer. The Mater. Mater puts up the shot. Foul. Go to the line for two. Yeah, we did. Loman really broke wide open there. She just bobbled the pass a little bit, but recovered well, and, and the overhelp had Mater on the backside. So Reba Mater is going to be at the line to shoot two. The first one on the way, sinks it, it's good, 11 to 3. 5 7 here in the first quarter. Cannon Raft, Tony Chapman on the call for this one. We're glad to have you here. This is game three out of eight here at the Nebraska Girls Basketball Showcase. Second one on the way, no good. Rebounded there by Kennedy Sechi. So it's still 11-3. 
Chloe Hanel Luke passes it off. Correction. Hanol receives that one. Now hands it off back to Hanol. Trying to get something set up. Clarkson Lee's going to want to attack that wing, far wing. Now nope, they're going to drive in a Sechi. Back to Hanol. Hanol was going to drive, thought about it. Northwest plays a really, their, their philosophy is a real sagging man. There's got to be more help there uh, as they reverse the ball a few times. Get out of rotation, and it's an easy driving lane for Hanel. And Hanel, like you said, easy lane drops and kisses the glass and in. Nice play there, three points for Hanel. 11-5 to score, but Vikings still lead it here. Madison Cushing with that ball in that far wing. Let's just baseball pass it over to Urbanski. Urbanski has range. We've seen it once already. Northwest being patient against this 1-3-1. Francie's going to drop back with slow tempo. Now it goes to Riley Rice, the senior for the Vikings. Really look to attack the middle of this, just like that, which rotates the zone. Cushing drives, stops, kicks it out. Mater thought about three. He's going to pull back. Let's set up here. Let's Vikings mindset. Let's keep passing around. Let's find that open shot. Ooh, it's going to be off the hands, but Riley Rice is there for the basketball. Down low, Mater comes away in the air. And it's going to be a jump ball possession arrow with the Vikings. So it will stay or... No, it's going to be Clarkson Lee. My apologies. So Clarkson Lee basketball. So a couple substitutions as Jessica Hoffman's going to sub in this game. And it looks like also, also going to sub in as well. Wearing that number 23 uniform, uh, Brian or Bryn Sechi. So now Hanol's going to bring the ball across half court. One-on-one, -on -one, that's held. Held's not going to go in that far side to Hoffman. Hoffman hands it off, kicks it out. Open three attempt there for Hanel. In and out, no good. A defensive board there for Lohman. Over there, oh, miscommunication pass. It was attended for Riley Rice there, just a little above the head, out of bounds. Yep. Patriots ball. Just threw it just a little too hard and a little too high for Riley to grab. It's a good idea. You really, if you're Northwest, you want to try to get down the floor before that zone sets up, try to attack and transition. Resume action here on top of the key there. It's going to be Hoffman. Jessica Hoffman trying to look for some help. He's going to pass it off to Hanol. In that corner is going to be Sechi. Sechi goes down low to Hell. That's recursion to Kennedy Sechi now. Now he over here to Hanol. Hanol's going to drive. Look, puts up the shot off the glass. It's in. Nice play there by Chloe Hanol to get another two to her name. Yeah, she's a nice player. She's going to be the one who, who attacks for him. Cross pass here to Cushing. Now bounce pass there to Urban, Urbanski. And now Rice is going to take the three attempt. It's good. Nice shot there by Riley Rice. Saw the open three and took it. Yeah, she's really starting to get her shooting back after a, an injury between volleyball and, and basketball season that has slowed her down. But committed to Doan and a really, really nice player for the Vikings. Rice drives, pressure, takes shot, draws the foul. Riley Rice will draw the foul, so Rice at the line to shoot two. Anytime you see her get hit on the right arm, uh, there's always a little bit of extra pain there. It was a, 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 a blood clot injury up in her shoulder, and it's caused a lot of pain in her, in her, in her right arm. So she's now, she's got a sleeve under there and a, and a wristband to try to keep things in line there, but has, has really gotten the strength back here over really since the, since the calendar flip. Her strength is, has gotten a lot better, and her shooting is, really took off last night against Lakeview. Riley Rice, Rice coming in this game averaging 6.1 points per ball game. The second one on the day is on the way and good. It's a perfect two for two for Rice. Make it 16-7 Northwest. Kinsey Havronik in for Northwest now. Northwest a really small bench. They're going to maybe play one or two players, and there's Hanel again uh, just driving right by Mater. And again, Mater, Northwest generally best defensive player, and Hanel uh, doing a great job. It's going to be a kickball violation on Kennedy Setchi. So it's going to stay right here with the Vikings, but Hanol just all over the place. I mean, it's hard to guard her. She's been moving that ball really well for that Patriots offense. Subbing in the ball game is going to be now a 2-3 zone from Clarkson Lee. They've changed it up uh, quite a bit here. One-on-one -on -one going down. Good post up by Havronik. Oh, she... So Havronik gets the rebound, tries to get a shot. It's going to be... A jump ball, Northwest basketball. Could make 
I don't know it's going to be a foul on Corby Wynn is what they're going to call. So it's going to be Northwest basketball, so we'll stay right here in Patriots territory. Well, I thought they called a jump there. They did flip the arrow. I still think it was a jump. I... The initial thumbs did go up by the ref, but it is what it is. They, st they have three fouls on the board for Clark. Oh. Good look there, trying to get some high-low action. Kyla Seabrant's in for Northwest, a sophomore. Yep, Seabrant's in this ball game here for the Vikings. Play over there in that corner. Drives, kicks it out to Urbanski. Urbanski, my apologies. The cushion now top to Keaton Mater. Back to Urbanski. Nice screen set up there. They're going to take up the shot. They're going to say the foot was on the line, so it's a two attempt. No good. Ball on the ground, picked away there by Kennedy Secchi. Kennedy Secchi brings it across midcourt, going coast to coast, puts up a shot, draws the foul. But Northwest really got to stop the ball there. They let the ball get all the way into the lane, which you can't do on transition. You got to identify who's got the ball, get that stopped. Slow them down there, and now it's going to be two free throws for uh, Kennedy Secchi. So Secchi at the line to shoot two. The first one on the way. It's no good. Secchi. Clarkson Lee has got to the line. Uh, good job here in the first half, and now Northwest is going to take a timeout here. Timeout called by Northwest. And it's been a fun one, but just a fun game in general here. Yeah, 112 left. You know, Northwest is shooting it a little better. They're going to need to make some outside shots because just because they're a little bit smaller and they're going to see probably multiple zone looks and they've made some shots early, but it'll be interesting to see if they can keep this up. You know, you got to, you're going to have to be able to make shots and move that zone. And if you're Clarkson Lee, you know, really, I think if you're Coach, uh, Coach Matt Murr, Murrin, uh, I think you like what you see so far on the offensive end. They've been able to attack. Uh, Hanel's done a great job of getting, the, getting to the basket and uh, they've really been able to open up that lane off a couple ball reversals. And uh, I think he's happy with that. He's got to probably see, he's got to hope this zone kicks in here a little bit. Northwest maybe starts missing some shots. And we have seen it almost in every game. Teams have gone on fast starts. The opposing team will chip back in the first game. Cross County had a good chance, or for a while it was over the Coyotes, but Selma Myrna, and Selma Myrna fought back, got it. Last game, Maywood Hay Central, Went on a 9-0 run, ended up at the end of the half at 9-3. They only defeated, or correction, only defeated Blue Hill by final 33-30. So it's been kind of the mindset as we'll see one team start off hot, but another team, the opposing team, will start to chip away at that lead. Yep. So Sechi will be at the line to try to complete Mr. First Free Throw. Sechi does have two points in her name tonight. See if she can get this one down. No. Get the music shut off there. <laughs> <laughs> So it'd be fun to play like the whole game with with music with music going on. I don't know, it be wouldn't be too bad. Just like playing some pickup basketball. And the second one away is good, so it's now 16 to 10 Northwest on top. Couple subs in this ball game. As it looks like it's going to be Jessica Hoffman sub in this ball game here and also with Faith Indra coming back in. Minute 12 left here if you're Northwest. It's a 2-3 zone now again. Move that ball around. You're really looking for open shooters. That's a good one. You'll take it every time. And Matt Murren just <laughs> shrugs his shoulders. He knows that he's he knows that if he he started off in man to man, and I think he knew almost right away that he couldn't that he couldn't uh, play him all the way man to man. So now it's been one three one and two three, and Northwest has just made some threes. Nineteen to ten, the score. Clarkson Lane drives. That's Faith Indra is going to kick it out there on that far side to Hoffman. Hoffman wanting help is going to hand it off to Kennedy Setchi. And Sechi drives, puts up a shot off the side of the iron. No good ref defensive rebound there for the Vikings. Sechi's down. Now they've got to stop the game because Clarkson Lee got the ball back. So with that being said, we're going we're gonna to take just a quick break here for the injury timeout. 19-10 the score. Don't go anywhere. This is the Nebraska Girls Basketball Showcase on Stripe, on Stripe TV. And we're back here at Kearney High School, and 
hopefully nothing too serious. Get to see some back in the ball game. Great to see walking on your own power. Yeah, Kennedy said she, she's moving. She's moving okay, it looks like. So you hope that uh, she could just kind of loosen that up a little bit and maybe come back in, maybe just rolled it a little bit. Try to get, maybe get it stretched out a little bit. It didn't, it, you, you always worry about if it's a knee or an ankle. It looks like it's definitely an ankle there, which is good news. And maybe they can get a little tape on that. And 20 seconds here before the first quarter's, first quarter's out. Yes, it's Kennedy Setchi for Clarkson Lane. Hopefully nothing too severe, and we can see her back in this ball game here. Let's resume action, 19-10 to 10 the score here. It's Chloe Hanel's just going to hold it for that last shot. Try to get some, ooh, nice little spin move. Puts a shot, nice shot there. With three, two, one, and there goes the long shot. The shot isn't off in time, though, and that's the end of the first quarter. And the Vikings lead it 19 to 12 here at the end of one. We'll take a quick break. We come back to second quarter action. This is the second annual Nebraska Girls Basketball Showcase on Strive TV. Your cart is in store or online. Your traffic is on the road or the web, or you meet customers in person or virtually. Your business needs to be connected to customers, the market, and the world. Discover the difference that comes from working with a local team of experts with over a century of experience providing custom fiber-driven solutions to businesses across the Midwest. We understand the changing needs of your Midwestern business because we are a Midwestern business. Great Plains Communications, high-performing network, high-performing people. Download the new and improved Strive mobile app for your iOS device. Never miss an event. Get updates, scores, and notifications direct to your iOS device. Download the new and improved Strive iOS app today. And we're back here at the end of the first quarter, 19 to 12 there. Northwest has controlled the game well, but Clarkson Lee's Chloe Hanola has just been kind of all over the court for the for the Patriots. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what the adjustment is for Northwest. She's got nine now on the other end. Riley Rice has ten. So if you're Matt Murren, how do you adjust to how do you adjust to Northwest too? And and you all, you know you wonder if maybe there's a box and one that they might play. Just anything to kind of slow them down. Um, Northwest is going to likely try, try to stick into that man to man. I think really for Northwest the issue is there's got to be more help. There's no one there. Uh, there's no one there when Hanel gets the, gets the drive, and you got to make somebody else beat you at this point. Faith Indra is going to receive the inbound pass, bringing it across court here now to Chloe Hanel. Nice screen there by the Patriots. Nice little shot there. That's good. Beautiful shot there by McKenna Held. Her first two points of the ball game, and now 19-14 the score. Now if Clarkson Lee can get baskets off of Hanel passes, they're going to be really tough to guard. Madison Cushing going to send over that far side to Mater. Mater now to Urbanski. Urbanski to back Cushing. To man, back to man to man. Cushing forced it in there. Mater thought about the three. He's going to pull it back. Let's hold it. Let's wait. Let's set tempo here. And that's what they're going to do. Kicks it over here to Madison Cushing. One on one there with Hoffman. Now back. Urbanski. Let's get set up. Now Mater has in this near side. Gets a little screen set up there. Goes down low to Whitney Loman. Loman one on one. Jump ball. Possession arrow with the Clarkson Lee Patriots. So it's going to be Patriots. Ba yeah, Patriots basketball. Yeah, they, uh, they can't. Or, yeah, it's got to be Northwest ball. Clarkson Lee got the ball to start the second quarter there. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, sh pretty sure if they called the jump ball, it should be Northwest ball here out under. So let's see, Coach Merce saw something there he didn't really like and uh, as they went to the man-to-man. -man. So see what see it'll be interesting to see what he does here uh, to isolate some baskets for, for the Vikings. Yeah, it's just been one of those games. I mean, 20, or correction, 19-14, the score up by five is the Vikings, but this is kind of the style of the game is when one team is down by a decent lead, they will start to chip away. And if you're Clarkson Lee, you want to try to force the Vikings turnover, get those quick points, try to get back in it. But if you're Northwest, I mean, you got some big names out there. I mean, Riley Rice has been all over the court. She's been hitting shots. Urbanski can show she can shoot the college three. Yeah. It's so. been uh, it's been that kind of day, hasn't it? Both of the, our first two games, we've seen some teams get big leads and then the other teams chip away. And uh, this is kind of the same thing. You got Northwest has had jumped out to a 19-10 a lead. Now Clarkson Lee has cut it to 19 to 14. Hanel, boy, great hands there. And all drive strips it. It's going to slow down. Thought about the fast break. Was thought about three attempts. Going to pull it back. Let's pass it to Held now. Back to Hanol. 
One on one there, Hanol is going to just sling it back to Faith Indra. Indra, try, Indra trying to set the offense here now to Hanol on this near wing. Hanol's going to cut to the right, pass it over there. Now it's in that corner to Indra. Drives top, the key there. Clarkson Lee drives off the glass, and it's no good with the initial shot there it was Brian Secchi on that one. Over in the corner is going to be Mater. Back to her Cushing. Cushing's going to kick it over here to Urbanski. Now to Reba Mater. Just a little over six minutes here. 19-14 the score in quarter number two. Game three. And it's going to be. It's going to be a block. I don't think she quite got there. Cushing kind of ran her over. That was Faith Indra. You know, Coach Murren has put Indra on Riley Rice. So we clearly... Uh, you know right away who your best defender is, uh, and it looks like it's Indra to watch, to, uh, to watch this one. Now Indra's switching over to Reba Mater, it looks like. So So Rice will inbound it here for the Vikings. They're going to kick it out there at near far wing, my apologies. Now top of the key to Avon Urbanski. Urbanski, a little miscommunication pass, but Cushing comes away with the possession. Now Reba Mater with the basketball. Oh, it's stolen away there by Clarkson Lee. Now Chloe Hanol with the ball. Kicks it off here to Sechi. Sechi drives. Now back to Faith Indra. Indra with the three attempt off the back of the board. No good. Rebounded there by Riley Rice. The dome commit. Sling this one up there for Cushing. Cushing comes away with it. Kicks it out to Urbanski. Now to Rice. Rice with the deep three. Off the front of the iron. No good. Rebounded there by Faith Indra. You're probably, if you can get a hand in the face, you're probably going to you're probably, if you're Coach Murren, you're probably pretty happy with that shot. So. One on one now back to McKenna Held. Held's going to go to Sechi. On that far side, it's going to be Indra. Now in that corner to Sechi. Pace has slowed down here a little bit, hasn't it, Cannon? Good and hands there by Mater. One on one, picks it up, lose the basketball. Foul called on the Vikings. Oh, wow, they got. Rice with a hit there, so that's two on her. Didn't, didn't look like there was too much contact there, but she's going to have to be smart here now the rest of the half. Not any real foul trouble yet. Four fouls on each team, so we're still five minutes to halftime. So 19-14, just a little under five minutes in this ball game. One-on-one -on -one there, inbounded. Yes, it's going to be inbounded there. To Eisenman. Eisenman subbing this ball game for the first time. Clarkson leaves. Chloe Hanel with the ball. Now to Sechi. Or correction, that's Faith Indra with the basketball. Drives, kicks it. Hanel, open three attempt. Off the back of the iron. No good. Ball in the air. And it's come, to, come away with is Lit Whitney Lohman on that good one. Strong rebound there. And Hanel kept it in. And it's going to be kept in through it. But Riley Rice was there for the basketball. Cushing drives, stops, looks. Back to Rice, top of the key. Rice heavily guarded there by Indra. Now let's just hand it off to Urbanski now. Reba Mater with it on that far side. The Riley Rice, one on one. I think it'll be a hand check there, and that's going to be where Riley Rice can attack that basket because it, Indra's wanting to hand check her, and I think that's going to be her second foul too. So if you can attack the basket and they're going to call that hand check, you're probably going to be able to get, get them in foul trouble just a little bit. So Bryn Setchi and Bailey Setchi checking this ball game here. Three Setchis on the court. Two freshmen. So we resume action. 19-14 on the clock. One on one. Attack the far side. Is Cushing down, down low to Loman. Loman with a shot off the glass. Yeah, great and post in. up there by Whitney Loman. An excellent entry pass from Maddie Cushing there to get Northwest on the board. It's, that's their first two uh, this quarter after a 19-point first quarter. 21-14 the score. Vikings up by seven. And it's five going second call. Five second call on the Patriots. Looking at Matt Murren deciding not to call a timeout yet. Kind of see what happens here, but looks like now he's going to take one. <laughs> he will take the timeout now. So that was a timeout on the court. We'll just keep it here. 21-14 up by seven. 30 second timeout. Yeah, just a short time out here, but you know we talked about uh, we talked about this one 
uh, Ken in the first half was up and down the floor. Teams were making baskets. Uh, Chloe Hanel uh, had nine points, and now we played almost, we played just over four minutes, and it's two to two uh, in this quarter. So uh, good third game here as we've got three of eight uh, headed into uh, the to this afternoon. Next game features Adam Central taking on Bridgeport. Game five, Broken Bow versus Auburn. Game six is Sydney versus Oakland Craig. Two sides from the uh, opposite side of the states. Game seven, North Bend Central, Grand Island Central Catholic. And the finale, it's the York Dukes taking on the Kearney Bearcats. So those are the remaining schedule of this girls' basketball showcase. Well, those last two are going to be special, I think. You've got a Grand Island Central Catholic team uh, that has bounced back from kind of a disappointing holiday tournament loss. They beat Northwest on Tuesday. They beat Kearney Catholic on Friday or last night, and so now they get the defending champs uh, here tonight, and, and that should be a good one. A big physical team nor, uh, GIC, GICC is, and, of course, we know how good North Bend Central is uh, having won the last two state championships. Ball stolen away. Here comes Chloe Hunnell with it using her speed. Shot off the glass and in. Beautiful shot there by Chloe Hunnell on that one. So they get back within five here, and they're just going to have to string together some stops if you're – uh, if you're Clarkson Lee. They're going to try to attack that baseline. It's going to be turned in. Shot off glass. Will draw the foul. It's going to be Reba Mater. Good drive there by Mater. Grand Islands Northwest using a little ball screen offense here to try to get Mater to attack the basket. Big thing about a ball screen, both sides are both sides are kind of running that ball screen. When you've got good shooters, it, it doesn't allow the help to get there quite as fast, and it can lead to some easy baskets. So Mater knocks down the first one. So the foul was on Breen Setchi as we are now getting a line change and some three new names here as coming back in this ball game for Clarkson Lee. We'll see. Uh, that's going to be uh, Corby Went. Corby Went's on the court there. McKenna held. Second one on the way is good. And also, coming back in is going to be, my apologies, is Kennedy Stetschi. She did go down early with the ankle, but she is now back in this ball game. Yeah, they took her shoe off, looked at it. I don't know if they put any tape on it or, or anything. So here she come through a double for, for a three-point shot. Stetschi for three. Off the back of the iron, no good. Rebounded by the Vikings. Attacking this near side is going to be Urbanski. Urbanski drives, thought about driving, puts up a shot off the glass. Good Beautiful. drive there by Avon. Avon Urbanski, just a beautiful stop. Kissed the glass and put it in. Got good attack to the basket. And again, you allow, you get some eat, you get some transition baskets. And there's that cut again. Northwest really's got to adjust to that. They're just they've got to be in they got to be in quicker help uh, to cut that drive off. They're getting people getting they don't say let anybody cut in front of your face, and that's what's happening. Clarkson Lee doing a great job nice. offensively. Nice bounce pass there, Hervonic with it. Gonna drive, kick, loses the basketball. It was supposed to be a tenant for Loman. Loman kept Good it hustle. alive though. A deep three attempt and in and out. But a way to just keep the play alive there. Boy, had Kinsey Havronic wide open underneath the basket there and took the shot. An open three attempt for the for the Patriots. In and out. No good. Rebounded by Loman, but the ball is on the ground. It's sets you with the ball rolling out of bounds. Patriots basketball. Good hustle there, both teams. Well, you had two threes on each side that went in and out. Both of those would have probably been swishers in the in the first quarter. But as they get a little more tired, sometimes it's harder for the ball to go in the basket here. Minute 49 left before halftime. 25-18, the score in Carney. Nice little inbound pass off the glass. Ooh, a beautiful play in and out of the glass. And my goodness, what a play. That's Chloe Hanol with another two to her name. Give her 13 in this ball game. To make it 25-20, Patriots down by five. Good Revol pass there. No good rebounded there by, that is Corby Went. They got to finish that play. Now chance for chance for Clarkson Lee to get something here. They're going to take the three attempt. It's Kennedy Setchi. Yes, it's Kennedy Setchi with the three to bring it within two. 25-23, a little over a minute left in this first half. Clarkson Lee crowd coming to life here in the half. You can hear the defense chant. Cushing with a her own three attempt. Off the back of the iron, no good. Ball on the ground. It's going to be off the hands of a Patriot Viking basketball. Looks like it went off. Corby went there. Her and Havronic kind of battling for the battling for the for the rebound there. Just tipped off her fingers here. So well, we've had some good ones, haven't we, Ken? At 25-23 now for. Clarkson Lee has come back from a seven-point deficit here. An awesome showcase to show off some of the talent of girls basketball in the state of Nebraska. 
Under a minute to play, 25-23 the score. Avon Urbanski with the basketball here for Northwest. Now to Riley Rice, that top of the key. Rice, a little spin move, drive, shot. Great move, uh, just, just too hard, really good move. And now the Patriots are going to push here using the temple. And it's Kalei Hanol with the ball. It's going to pick it up, needs help. Nice little bounce pass there. Oh, almost lost it there. Was Wint, but Wint re-picks it up there. Now back to Hanol, top of the key. Coach Mer. You know, you know what's coming here. It's Chloe Hanel. She's going to hold it for the last shot. There's got to be a lot of help here if you're Northwest. And Coach Murray is saying hold it for the last shot, and that's what they're going to do here. Hanel's going to drive, looks, kicks it out. Kind of a little bad pass there. Down low, one second shot, and it's going to be a foul. So instead of it at the, at the half, the Patriots have a chance to tie this ball game. So yeah, you just bring everyone back, and Eisenman's going to get two shots here, and we could be tied up going into the half. And the first one on the way from Eisenman is no good. And the second one is on the way. No good. Out of both. So that's going to be the end of the first of the first half here. That'll be the end of the first half here as the Vikings lead at 25 to 23 in Kearney. We head down to Mike Sodder here, I believe, who's going to be with Grand Island Northwest coach Russ Murr for halftime interview. All right, Coach, 25-23 uh, at half. They came back a little bit. You guys started fast. How do you kind of keep the pace or, or uh, revisit what you guys did in the first quarter? Well, obviously, we want to play full court style, and they did a better job of getting us out of that. Uh, you know, we got to identify their shooters better on the defense again. And then offensively, we got to make better offensive basketball decisions. We're just not very connected right now. So we got to go clean that up here now. Okay, good luck. Yeah, thank you. And that was Mike Sauter court side there with GI Northwest head coach 25 23, the score. And my goodness, what a fun first half of basketball. It's been the story of all three games. One team's going to pull away. The other team is going to chip at the lead and bring it down within two. And just what a fun half of basketball here. It's been exciting three games so far in all that. So with that being said, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll give you halftime stats and more. It's 25-23 Vikings at the half. This is the second annual Nebraska Girls Basketball Showcase on Strive TV. Become a new Strive School. Join a community of educators and students. Get access to support, resources, and education. Your fans watch for free, and there's even a new revenue opportunity for your school. Contact sales at strive.tv to sign up your school to become a Strive School. Whether your cart is in store or online, your traffic is on the road or the web, or you meet customers in person or virtually, your business needs to be connected to customers, the market, and the world. Discover the difference that comes from working with a local team of experts with over a century of experience providing custom fiber-driven solutions to businesses across the Midwest. We understand the changing needs of your Midwestern business because we are a Midwestern business. Great Plains Communications, high-performing network, high-performing people. The University of Nebraska at Kearney continues to make bold moves, like climbing to number six for best Midwest regional universities, UNK's highest ranking ever, and opening Discovery Hall, a new building designed for hands-on learning. UNK is a leader in programs like business and technology, health sciences, visual arts, teacher education, and many more. If you're ready to make a bold move towards your career, visit unk.edu and get started today. Be blue, be gold, be bold, be a loper. Lines Appliance of Broken Bow is proud to offer their customers a wide selection of home appliances from washer and dryer pairs to deep freezes. They pride themselves on customer service all the way through to delivery. 
In addition to appliances, Lions has TVs some as big as 80 inches, grills, coolers, and other awesome tech. Stop in often to see what's new. Lions Appliance of Broken Bow, online at lionsappliances.com. Welcome back here at the half of the Nebraska Girls Basketball Showcase, and it's been a fun one. It's a story I'm going to say. Chipping away at Leeds, 25-23 at the half, and it was just a fun game that's been here in Kearney so far. Yeah, no doubt. You look at all these first three games, Cannon, it was 25-25 at half game one. It was 13-11, a little slower pace in that Maywood Blue Hill game, and now 25-23 here. So. Three close games so far, really well played basketball today, and kind of what we expected. I mean, this is what you're what you're after if you're trying to put the best teams in the state together. And Coach Cooksley has done a great job so far. First two games have been in, and it's always tough because when you put these events together, you're actually doing it months in advance, so you just don't know the outcome of what's going to happen in the future. But I could say one thing, it's been an awesome outcome. I mean, every game's been a dandy, and I believe every game today will just be a dandy in general. Yeah, and I think what you'll find, too, is you're showcasing some of the best talent in the state, and I think it's really come to the front of the line with Chloe Hanel here from Clarkson Lee. She can do everything. She's 5'11", and a really good ball handler and shooter. Northwest is having problems with her, and they're going to have to make some adjustments in the second half. And uh, Hanel, uh, you know, again, like I said, 5'11 and only a sophomore, and she's got really all the moves. And then on the other side, Riley Rice is going to Doan. She's got slowed down there a little bit uh, in the second quarter. Uh, and I don't know if she did she score. No, she didn't score in the second quarter. So 10 points at halftime for Riley, who's going to Doan. But Northwest, I think, has got to step it up on the defensive end. And I think if you're Clarkson Lee and you're Coach Matt Murray, you really like where you're at right now in this one. What I liked about Riley Rice is, I mean, she could be all over the court. Open shot, she'll take it. Contested shot, she'll take it. She's done an awesome job with that. But, you know, Avon Urbanski for Northwest, what I liked is she showed her range off twice now and has just done the deep ball, and it's been an awesome atmosphere and just a lot of fun just to see how it's going at. Northwest hit some threes in the first half, in the first quarter, but they didn't really hit a, hit any in the second quarter, which slowed the pace of this game down. And so it's going to be interesting to see how both of these teams react after after the half year. And like we've talked in the first game, and I'm sure you and Eric talked about in game two, these first four or five minutes of the third quarter are going to be very important to where this game goes. So yeah, lots of fun basketball. Next up matchup is going to be Adam Central taking on Bridgeport and. If you know anything about Bridgeport, probably one of the best team out in the panhandle, Western Nebraska. The two sisters have just been lights out, both with D1 offers, averaging 20.3 points per game, 19.7. That's just a crazy stat line right there between the two. Yeah, Olivia Loomis Godel and, and her sister Ruthie, uh, 5'10 sophomore and a 6'3 junior, and they can fill it up. They've scored under 70 one time, I think, uh, this year. On the flip side, I don't think Adam Central Adam Central's only given up 40 one time all season, so it's going to be a real, a real uh, trend, uh, co contrasting styles in that one, and and we'll see who who wins out uh, on that game. At the Adam Central, we'll have Broken Bow taken on Auburn. Broken Bow's head coach Kelly Coach Kelly Cooksley, the director who put this program together with the Carney Converse, Commerce Chambers. Another fun one: Sydney and o Oakland Craig. The interesting stat. Eastern Nebraska versus Western Nebraska. Finally, we have North Bend Central, Grand Island Central Catholic, and York versus Carney will be the finale here as well. Yeah, they look at that uh, Oakland Craig, uh, that Oakland Craig Sydney game should be a really good one. Sydney's off to a nine and one start, uh, and then you also have uh, with Oakland Craig, you got uh, uh, Cheney Nelson, and I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher it. I should flip my program here, but the twin sisters uh, for Oakland Craig. Uh, Chaney Nelson and Sadie Nelson, two girls that can fill it up. Oakland Clay really likes to get after it in a full court man. Uh, so that one should be fun too. Throughout the game, you'll notice we'll have some highlights on the screen. Kind of had to get worked with the first few games, but now we'll have highlights throughout as well. It's just been a fun one in Corny, and every game has just been a dandy here. 
a special thank you to the Kearney High, Kearney High facility doing a hard job getting the work together. The Broken Bow Sports Network Strive team, the Mitchell out of Kearney High Strive, just all these Strive kids coming together. Nathan, out of this graduate of Sutton, now a UNL major. Myself being a Kearney High grad, a Strum alum now back here. So it's the cool atmosphere. It's just everyone being back, some sort of Strive, and being at this event today. And I'm just the old guy came in, but I'm <laughs> having fun. And uh, this is going to be uh, really, like I said, the rest of this day going to be really interesting. I really think these, you know, this second half is, is going to be good, but these next five matchups, it ramps up even just a little bit more of the classes, you know, a little bit higher classification, and uh, should be some really, really good, really good basketball. So excited to uh, look through the rest of the rest of this day and uh, see this one going. And I'm guessing by the time by the time this uh, hits 8:30, the Rowdies will be showing up, and Carney and York will be hyped up. Yep. So we'll take a quick break, and we come back. Third third quarter action coming up next here at the half. It's 25-23. Vikings on top. This is the Nebraska Girls Basketball Showcase on Strive Sports. Download the new and improved Strive mobile app for your iOS device. Never miss an event. Get updates, scores, and notifications direct to your iOS device. Download the new and improved Strive iOS app today. And we're back here, just a little over a few seconds, but Chloe Honyol is going to be a fun one to watch in this second. Now, that's who you have to contain if you're the GI Northwest. Yeah, if you're Northwest, it's it's Honyol for sure. Uh, and then really, no, Northwest has got it. Really where Northwest has been successful in this game is rebounds and outlets and getting the ball up and down the floor. So we got to see if maybe they can quicken the pace up a little bit uh, and, and get some easy easy baskets in, in transition. Honyol went... Indra, Sechi, and held on the court for Clarkson Lee. We'll get you the Grand Islands starting five, or yep, starting five here in a moment. As Went has on that near side back top here to Faith. Indra, Indra over there to Held. Urbanski, Mater, Loman, Rice, and who did I miss? Cushing for Northwest. Same five for the Vikings. Sechi takes the open three, and it's good. And the Patriots get the lead, 26-25. Kennedy Sechi with the three. I think that's the first lead of the game for uh, Clarkson Lee. In Down low to Whitney Loman. Oh, a beautiful block there by Kobe Brent. The game really changed in the second quarter when Coach Murren went to Went to this man-to-man, -man and it really kind of slowed the pace down. There's that cutter again. Got to get in front of that pass. Really got to jump it. Hanyo has it on that far side. Thought about going down low. No, we'll go top of the key to Corby Wint. Corby Wint's going to pass it over here to McKenna Held. McHeld, or correction, Held has it, picks it up, needs help, holding onto the ball, bounce pass there. Top of the key to Faith, or correction, near side of Faith Indra. Indra looks, going to send it over there to Kennedy Sechi. Sechi, thought about driving. Hanyo with the ball now. Coley Hanyo is going to roll to the right. Stop. Puts up the shot at the free throw line. It's good. 28-25. Patriots lead. Really good patience there from Clarkson Lee. Grand Island Northwest trying not to get that ball in the paint. So they're going to attack that far side. Northwest thought about cutting. Let's pass it off to Riley Rice here. Rice is going to roll. A nice little spin. He picks up the ball. Goes down Great low. Pass. Urbanski. Great pass down low there. Now Avon's going to get two free throws. So Urbanski thought, took the shot, was fouled, goes on, shoot two. First personal, first team foul here for Clarkson Lane. And the foul, ball's on the way, off the front, in and out, no good. So Urbanski at the line, shoot one more. So yep, we'll see Urban Urbanski, my apologies, shoot one more from the charity line. The second one on the way, off the front side, no good. Nice board there good by rebound. Mater. An open three attempt by GI Northwest. They're going to take it, no good. It's going to be off the hands of Corby, Corby Wentz, so it's going to stay down here. Great hustle there by Whitney Loman to get a couple rebounds, keep the possession alive for Northwest. Kicks it out top of the key here to Avon Urbanski. One on one. Now we're going this near side here to Mater. Mater's not going to go to Cushing. Madison Cushing. Let's say let's go to the top of the key. Roll the right. Oh, nice little little move there. Kicks it out. Rice. 
Rice drive, stop, looks, pressure, health, bounce pass, miss, communication, bounce pass, out of bounds, and Patriots basketball. Like Rice got poked in the eye there. It's a good back cut. Pass was just a little too strong. So some pressure there. The Hano has the basketball here for Clarkson Lee. Here on the near side is Kennedy Sechi. Hano thought about doing the deep, the deep pass. But instead, we'll go on the near side to McKenna Held. Held looking. It's going to roll to the left at the charity line. Hands it off to Hano. Hano drives, stop, kicks it. Thought about the shot. Let's just not take it. We'll just pass it around. Really, really patient offense here from Clarkson Lee, recognizing that Northwest is kind of backing off a little bit. Ball on the ground. That will be a jump ball. Well, that's almost bad luck, really. Rice had the possession for, for the most part. So jump ball, GI Northwest basketball. We've gone almost 11 minutes now. Northwest only scored six points in the last 11 minutes of this one. They've got a, the pace has got a, the pace I think has got to quicken up here for Northwest a little bit. They got to get some good looks. Here on that far side is Rice with the basketball. Rice is going to drive a little spin move, loses it, picks it up though, one on one, help bounce pass to Urbanski. Urbanski's in on this near side here. They're going to try to go down on the Loman. Loman loses it, and it's going to be on the hands of Faith Indra on that one. Indra's going to bring this ball across midcourt there. Urbanski heavily guarding Hano on that, but Hano will receive the pass. Kali Hano is going to drive. Thought about the bounce pass, but he's going to hand it off to Kennedy Sechi. Sechi drives, shot, glass, no good. Sechi rebound, put back is good. And so now Riley Rice can attack that far side for the Vikings. Pass top of the key now to Cushing. Madison Cushing, nice little Euro step, drives. Shot off the glass and off the front of the iron, no good. Kept in, but it's going to be off the hands of Cushing. Patriots basketball. Looks like we can get a timeout from Northwest here. See if they make any adjustments here. They just got to pick up the pace a little bit. Northwest just kind of walking off the floor. So, yeah, it's 30-25 out of the timeout. The Patriots lead it. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll resume third quarter action. This is the second inning of Nebraska Girls Basketball Showcase on Strive Sports. Whether your cart is in store or online, your traffic is on the road or the web, or you meet customers in person or virtually, your business needs to be connected to customers, the market, and the world. Discover the difference that comes from working with a local team of experts with over a century of experience providing custom fiber-driven solutions to businesses across the Midwest. We understand the changing needs of your Midwestern business because we are a Midwestern business. Great Plains Communications, high-performing network, high-performing people. Become a new Strive School. Join a community of educators and students. Get access to support, resources, and education. Your fans watch for free, and there's even a new revenue opportunity for your school. Contact sales at strive.tv to sign up your school to become a Strive School. And coming out of the timeout, the Patriots on top of this one, 30-25. It's been kind of the story of the showcase. One team pulling away early, the other team chipping away. We have now seen GI Northwest with the early pull away in that first half. Clarkson Lee is tied and now taking the lead by five. And so now, basing it off the way, the outcomes of the games, this should end up being an awesome basketball game. Yeah, we'll see if Northwest can get anything going here. They haven't scored yet in the fourth quarter, or in the third quarter, excuse me. Now trying to get a little bit of pressure up here, but Hanyel handles it easily. Let's see what Coach Murren Maybe drew up here in the oh, with the three long two pointer. Correction, long two, no good. Set you on the initial shot, rebounded there by Urban. Or correction, that's Cushing. Madison Northwest Cushing used to push, almost lost it. Corners Rice, Rice there now back to Urbanski and Bransky guard there by Honnell. Now let's say let's give it to Madison Cushing on that far side. Rice here trying to get the screen. Servana goes down low, picks it, kicks it out. Urbanski open three corner. Offside, no good. Rebounded by Cushing. Try to get the push back to Rice. Rice holds it on the floor. Boy, Northwest too. You know, it just looks like it should be an easy layup there, and they're just they're off just enough that that they're just not getting the easy shots to go in. A great look for Avon Urbanski and the looks that were going in in the first quarter. You know, you talk about legs. Both these teams played last night, and so you wonder. You know, fatigue's getting into this thing a little bit for sure. Vikings will inbound and out out of the foul. Urbanski receives the inbound pass here for GI Northwest. And it's now Riley Rice 
Rice is going to drive to her right, stops, picks up the ball, pressure, help, bounce past one on one. Hervonic drives, shot foul. Good take there by Kinsey Hervonic. She's going to go to Hastings College, play volleyball. Set her on the Northwest volleyball team. The volleyball tradition at Northwest, 21 years in a row, uh, they've been to the state tournament. And Kinsey, a good setter for him earlier this fall. And First one on the way is no good. You got to make good. your free throws. You're down to 0 for 3 by Northwest here in the third quarter, and you're down 5. Got to get the ball to go in the basket. The second one is on the way. It's good. Three, four point lead, 30 26 the score. Patriots still lead it here. It's just kind of light pressure. It looks like they're trying to keep the ball out of Hanyol's hands uh, just to bring it up the floor. So, see what they go here. There's a handoff. Handoff here to Hanel. Hanel drives, spin, look, pressure. Kicks it out. Oh, stolen away here. Here it comes. Reba made it, but Hanel's there. Loses the basketball. Ball still on the ground. It's picked up there by Cushing. Madison Cushing lets baseball pass to the far side there to Rice. Rice thought about three. He's going to pull back. Let's just pass it around. Little and three minutes left here. Top of the keys, Rice. Rice drives, holds it. Shot, no foul. Tipped on the Patriots. So it'll stay right here with the Vikings. A lot of contact down there. But again, if you're vertical, they're not going to really call those fouls. And Clarkson Lee's done a good job of being close enough and being vertical. And not moving with the not moving their body to draw contact. Trying to go down low, Urban or a correction that's made it to Rice. Rice receives on that far side, kicks out to Urbanski. Urbanski drives, stop, shot, glass, no good in the air. Rebounded there by Sechi, and it's going to be a foul on the Vikings. Not a lot going down for the Vikes. Boy, they're getting some really good looks, and they're still in this thing. You know, they're only down four. Still got about 10 and a half minutes of basketball left, so they just need to settle in on the defensive end, see if they could create some open looks on the offensive side. Clarkson lean with the basketball there. It's over on that far side. One on one situation. That's Hoffman with it. Hoffman top here to Kennedy Setchi. Setchi's going to drive that line, open lane. Oh, too much pressure on the lamp, and it's going to be off the hands of a Viking, and it's going to be Patriots basketball. Whitney Lohman's going to sub in this game for Rice. So Patriots are going to inbound it here. Kicks it all the way up to the top here to Setchi. Ryan Setchi, that is. One of the two Setchis on the court. Open three attempt for Honnell is there. No good. Iron and rebounded there by Setchi. And it's going to say that ball. Timeout, I timeout. think. Timeout. Yep. So a timeout called on the court. And we'll just keep it here for Looks us. Looks like it's a full timeout. It's been kind of, boy, it's really, it was 1912, right? At the end of the at the end of the first quarter, we were up and down, the shots were going in, and this game has really slowed down uh, here to the last, you know, what we've played eight, six, 14 minutes since then. You know, Northwest just has seven points. Clarkson Lee stepped up the pressure on the defensive end, playing a really solid man-to-man. -man. Uh, it's caused Northwest some problems. It has been, I mean, we saw early on Northwest put the pressure on, was making the shots. They were pretty much unstoppable at one point. And Clarkson Lee has been away taking the lead. And right now it's kind of at that situation where both teams are kind of just, they're both just there. Kind of both making some communi or some communication errors, some shot errors, but it's not like one team's trying to pull away. It's just right. both right in that same spot, like in that same home. You really feel, you know, you really feel like uh, Clarkson Lee is in a spot where Boy, they could, if they got one one or two baskets, they might break Northwest here. And Northwest is, is getting enough stops that if they could get just get one basket down on the other end, they'd feel like they were in way better shape. So these last these last two minutes here of the third quarter going to be important, getting some momentum heading to the last eight minutes. Resume action here. Honnell receives the inbound pass. Honnell drives, looks, open Good stutter lane. step. Got it. Nice play there by Coley Honnell on that one. She's got all the moves Hanyol does. She's a really, really nice player. And it's going to be Reba Mater here. Reba saw the lane, drive, stop, puts up the shot. Foul called there on Clarkson Lee. That's a little better if you're Northwest. you got to try to get to the basket now. They've had four free throws this quarter, only made one. they got to knock some of these free throws down to stay in it. And these are really important now. You're down six. 
Down by six, you're shooting two at the line is gonna be Reba Mater. The first one on the way is good. Riley Rice is gonna sub in this ball game here. Still no field goals for Northwest this quarter. They only have two free throws. Kind of amazing, really. 32-27, the second one from Mater is on the way. Off the back of the iron, bounces, no good. Rebound there by Kennedy Sechi. And Sechi's gonna drive this one. Sechi drives coast to coast, off the front of the iron, no good. Bolt, rebounded, foul. It's gonna be a foul there on the Vikings. Again, Northwest, nobody's identifying the ball, getting the ball stopped. You allow the point guard to get all the way into the lane. That is trouble. I mean, you just, you know, the first thing a defense is getting that ball stopped soon, and, and they were not able, Northwest not able to do that, and that possession leads to the foul. Setchi's first shot hits the backboard, hits the front of the iron, and drops through. It's good. So Setchi will shoot one more. Setchi with 14 points in this ball game. The second, one, the second one on the way is good. 34-27, seven-point lead here for Clarkson Lee. Cushing's going to go over there to Avon Urbanski. Ooh, North, Northwest really needs a basket here. Riley Rice here at top. Rice takes the Short. deep three. Short ball on the ground. Out of bounds, Northwest basketball. So held Indra and also it looks like went subbing back in this ball game here. Kind of a line change here for the Patriots. A little minute extra rest here for those, those three. So one on one there is Rice trying to make a spin move. She does, picks up the ball, knee tilt, gonna bounce pass it here. Pushing with it there, under a minute left here, 50 seconds to be exact, up by seven is Clarkson Lee, 34, 27 the score. Rice has it, now we're gonna kick it to this corner with Madison Cushing, Cushing's gonna drive that baseline, ooh, spins, kicks it out, Rice, and now the hands, drive, stops, helps, is going to kick this one out to Rubanski. Just a little over 30 seconds left here in the third. Back to Cushing, Cushing drives, open lane shot, too much power, ball still on the ground, picked up by the Vikings, and just a little in 20 seconds, that's Whitney Loman. Loman with the shot, that's gonna be blocked. Oh, it's gonna be a foul on Corby Went. Looks like just didn't quite go up vertical, kind of reached through, but again, Northwest, two more, two more free throws here they've shot. These will be eight free throws here in the, in the third quarter. Still have not got a basket to go down. Whitney Loman's first shot off the front of the iron, no good, so she'll shoot one more at the line. Not two for seven at the line and you're down seven. You know, you just, you gotta get those free throws to go in the basket. The second one from Loman's on the way and it's no good off the side. 18 seconds here and counting, 27, 34, 27 the score, Patriots lead it. Honnell's gonna hold this one probably for the last shot in this scenario here and that's what they're you gonna do. she's gonna attack, there's the ball screen. Oh, it's a handoff there, kicks top of the key. You got three, two, one. Get it off. Count it. Great play there. Great play there by Setchi. Boy, she just barely got it off. And Setchi, yeah, it's, they're going to count it there. 36-17 so, yeah. going to the fourth quarter. Let's get the replay here of that one, but... I don't think they've got a replay of it quite yet. But yeah, what a fun, what a fun. the new and improved Strive mobile app for your iOS device. Never miss an event. Get updates, scores, and notifications direct to your iOS device. Download the new and improved Strive iOS app today. And it's now time for the fourth and final quarter. I mean, potentially final. We've already seen one free basketball today. 36-27 the score. It's Clarkson Lee over the 
GI Northwest Vikings, Clarkson Lee come with an overall record, eight and three, representing Class C2, while GI Northwest, five and five from Class B. One of six cross-class matchups featured in today's event. Yeah, Northwest really probably has to ramp up the pressure here. I mean, this is, uh, this is, this is really what needs to happen because Clarkson Lee has just been patient. They haven't turned the ball over, and uh, it's, it's been really interesting. And now it looks like a little bit of zone here for Northwest. Shot. And they force a quick shot. McKenna held shot initially was no good. Just a little too, not as much pressure. Got to have, got to have baskets though if you're Northwest. Riley Rice has it on that baseline. Makes a spin move. Stops. Picks it up. Needs pressure. Help. Kicks this one out of there. Up to Cushing. Oh, and that one's almost stolen away there, but it's going to be tipped there by Clarkson Lee's Honnell. 36-27 the score. Riley Rice has the basketball now on that near side. Let's go over to Mater. Rita Mater drives, puts up the shot. No good. Ball still rolling, and Faith Indra comes away with this one. Faith Indra is going to pass over to Connie or collect Chloe Honnell on that one. Now to Honnell now. You almost wonder if Clarkson Lee might just pass it around if Northwest is going to stay in the zone. Interesting there, down, down nine and playing the zone and allowing easy passes. Great an e attack. And an easy walk in there for Con or Chloe Honnell on that one there. Just got the pass, open lane, took it, kissed the glass and in, 19 points there for Honnell. 38-27 the score. Up by 11 here. Bryce needs help. Bounce good pass. pass there. Nice. Another good one. And Finally that's, got one. That is what they need. A Lohman kisses the glass. Nice play there. And that's going to be a timeout called on the court. So timeout Northwest here. And it was just an awesome sequence. I mean, that's what Northwest needed. 38-29 is the score. Well, that, that's the type of basket they needed, a quick one to start the, the fourth quarter. They had to get that one, but time's running out now, and you're down nine. They've got to get, they've got to get moving quicker. There's got to be faster baskets. They've got to pressure the ball a little bit more. Doing all of that is going to possibly allow layups on the other end for Clarkson Lee. They've handled the ball really, really well, and so uh, it's, Northwest is going to really have to force uh, some turnovers here uh, in, the, in these last six minutes to try to get back in this one. 38-29 the score, 6-22 on the game clock here. Patriots lead it in this one. Clarkson Lee, 38, GI Northwest, 29 here. And Faith then just gonna inbound it here. Northwest getting some press on, but they're just gonna walk right out of it. Two on one situation, they're gonna go back door to Hano. Hano drives, kisses the glass, no good. Basketball picked up there by Riley Rice. That's what you need if you're, that's exactly what Northwest needs there is a quick shot and a miss. On that near side is Madison Cushing with the ball. Kicks over here to Rice in the near side, right about top of the key to the left. Thought about rolling the right, it's gonna stop, make a move, makes a little spin move, picks up the ball, pressure, help, bounce pass here to Urbanski. Urbanski stops, we'll kick this one out to Mater. Mater, almost lost it, but Rice comes away. Rice drives, picks it up, holds it. No shot. Foul on Clarkson Lee. Did call it on the floor, though, so it's not going to be a free throw opportunity yet for Rice. It's going to be out under here for Northwest. 38-29 is the score here in Kearney. Game three of eight here at the Nebraska Girls, Nebraska Girls Basketball Association. Showcase, ooh, almost lost it. It's gonna be a travel there on the Vikings. Miscommunication there. Cushing and Loman are in the exact same spot. Would have had an open layup if one of them would have caught it. So, little miscommunication and it's now 38-29. That's Kennedy Setchi with the basketball now for the Patriots. Faith Indra receives the pass there and she's at the top of the key. Let's hand this one off to Honnell. Hon over here to Corby Wint. Back to McKenna Hell, nice screen there. Let's hand this one off. Moving the ball around, almost got there. Kept in by Indra. And Corby Wynn's gonna get this one now. 38-29, five minutes exactly left. And it's an open three attempt for Honnell. Takes it back to the iron, no good. It's to be rebounded there by Rice. 
Northwest got to push, got to look for opportunities here. Got to be ready to shoot. Rice loses the basketball, but it's going to be off the Patriots and it's going to stay here with the Vikings. So we resume action here in Kearney. Averonic does sub in this ball game here for the Vikings. Deep three attempt there by the Vikings. In the air, rebounded, jump ball. Possession error with the Vikings. So it's going to stay here with Northwest. You kind of almost wonder too, Northwest a difficult game last night with Columbus Lakeview. Clarkson Lee plays East Butler but wins by 30, so maybe their starters didn't play quite as much. And Northwest, you can just tell the legs are about, it look, they look like they're about shot here off the back of this doubleheader. The initial shot there by Rice was no good. Rebounded there by Honnell. But we move action here. Said she has it. Honnell thought about the shot. He's going to kick it over there on that far side. The win. Now to Indra. Faith Indra trying to get the screen set. going to drive. Loses the ball. Ball on the ground picked up there by Cushing. Cushing's going to just go lane coast to coast. Shut. And it's going to be a foul on Clarkson Lee. Northwest got to get away to get one of those and one opportunities, get something good to, to, to go in. Need these two free throws from Cushing to, to keep their chances alive. You know, you, you can't really complain about the defense if you're, you know, if you're Grand Island Northwest, if you're Russ Murray, 38 points, four minutes left in the game. But, you know, the legs are just, you know, the, the free throw shooting has been abysmal is probably a good word for it. They were five for 16 earlier this week uh, against uh, – against Grand Island Central Catholic and, and, and not great here in the, in the second half. And that one is good, so one for one at the line for Cushing. That's now just about four minutes here in the fourth and final quarter, up by eight is Clarkson Lee, 38-30 the score. Honnell has the basketball here at the Kearney logo. He's gonna make a move, go to the right, spins, kicks it. Held's going to take up a three, and it's good. McKenna Held just flinged it up there and made it 41-30. They probably didn't need that one, but Matt, Coach Murray sure, sure is going to take it, get that lead up to 11, and this has been impressive. So 29-11 to 11 run now since the end of that first quarter, just 11 points for Northwest since the end of the first quarter. And then there's going to be another foul called, and this one should looks like it's going to be on Chloe Hanna on that one. And it will be her second foul. Team eighth foul here for the Vikings. So Avon Urbanski you at the line to shoot two. The first one on the way is good. So Urbanski will shoot one more. Urbanski has six points in this ball game. 41-31 the score down by 10 is Northwest. Try to make this a nine Nine point lead, to, that's fit. and it's good. So Patriots lead this one by nine, 41 32. Urbanski with seven points. Oh, Honnell's gonna take it. Almost got it, and one there. So we'll see Honnell at the line and shoot two. Kinsey Ravonic with the foul. So Chloe Honnell at the line to shoot two. The first one on the way is good. Boy, she Honnell, just a really, really, really nice basketball player. Doesn't force anything. You know, you don't see her, you know, turning it over, making any loose passes. Really good with the basketball. Just a nice player. And the second one is good to give her a perfect two for two. Give her 21 points in this ball game. And a timeout called on the court. And we'll take it with them. At the, at the timeout, 43-32 to the score. Clarkson Lee leads GI Northwest 311 when we come back here. This is Nebraska Girls Basketball Showcase on Strive TV. Lines Appliance of Broken Bow is proud to offer their customers a wide selection of home appliances from washer and dryer pairs to deep freezes. They pride themselves on customer service all the way through to delivery. In addition to appliances, Lines has TVs, some as big as 80 inches, grills, coolers, and other awesome tech. Stop in often to see what's new. Lines Appliance of Broken Bow, online at linesappliances.com.
Coming out of the GI Northwest timeout, 43-32 is the score. Clarkson Lee up by nine. Riley Rice to inbound the ball here for the Vikings. Rice has it at that top of that key now. Rice can take the deep three attempt. It's good. Riley Rice with the deep three. 43-35 the score. Clarkson Lee still on top. Still time, but you got to get stops. Got to force some, some quicker shots, get some rebounds. Clarkson Lee probably going to be content to take, take time off the clock. Faith Indra has it here. Thought about going down low. She's going to take it. Now it's going to go to Sechi. Sechi thought about three. And as Corby went with it, Corby went goes back, drives, open lane, no good, rebound, foul. Just what you want if you're Northwest. Now you got two free throws, clock stopped on the other end. You got to knock them down, though. Got to knock them down here if you're if you're Maddie Cushing. You know, now you get two here, you're within two possessions all of a sudden. So these free throws are critical for the Vikings of Northwest. Cushing at the line to shoot two. It's a one and one situation, but Northwest needs both of these. First one on the way is good. 43-36 the score. Same situation here you want to make, and then you want to try to you want to try to get a uh, get your pressure set up short. From the iron is no good. Picked up there by Honnell. Honnell is so good. Indra has the, the ball the there. Indra near side, top of the key here to Sechi. Sechi's gonna go to Went. Went to Chloe Hanyol. Oh, almost lost, but a foul called on the Vikings. Northwest now's gotta get in foul mode. I think you probably see them try to run this thing up to six as quick as they can, and then maybe play defense after that. 2.17 on the game clock, 43-36 the score. Clarkson Lee on top here over GI Northwest. And it's going to be they a, got a timeout. A timeout called on the court here by Clarkson Lee. And we'll just keep it here. 217, 43, 36 is the score. Just been a really impressive performance after that first quarter from Clarkson Lee, I think, Ken. And they've done a they've done a great job of they switched right into the man-to-man -man there at the beginning of the second quarter. Got physical with Grand Island Northwest. Kind of, you can tell too, has worn them out just a little bit, you know. And so, and then they've just played really deliberate, good, patient offense with ball screens and dribble drive, and they've got some easy baskets and some open three looks. And uh, it's been been a really solid game plan from Clarkson Lee. Yeah, it's been a very solid game plan. That's the type of game plan you need. But if you are GI Northwest, you got to find a way to get the basketball and get some quick points. I mean, 43-36 the score. And Clarkson Lee has done a really great job containing the basketball in this game. It's going to be Kennedy Setchi to inbound it there to Honnell. Urbanski is going to be on a one on one situation. Now Setchi receives it here. Go over here to Faith Indra. Just a little over two minutes in this game. Corby Wynn now is going to kick it off here to Setchi. Surprised they haven't given a foul yet. Indra has it here, or correction, that's McKenna held on the near side. He's going to drive, lose his ball on the ground, picked up there by Wint. Bounce pass to Corby Wint, one-on-one, -on -one. Loman trying to get the ball in, there's the foul. So that's Urbanski's second, team fifth here in the second half. Now here we go, Kennedy Setchi with the basketball, makes a little spin move there. Over here to Corby Wint. Wint, top of the key to Honnell. Honnell's gonna roll to the right. It's now time to pass it around. Kennedy Setchi with the basketball. Setchi to Honnell. Pretty good execution here by Clarkson Lee. Northwest still, still needs one more foul. And Riley Rice. Now the next one will be one and one. Rice did draw the foul on that one. Minute 22 on the game clock here. 43-36 to score. Patriots on top. Said she's set to inbound the ball here. And that one's going to go to held back to Setchi here. Kenny Setchi, one-on-one, -on -one picks up now, goes to Honnell. 
Just a little over a minute left in this contest. And there's the foul by Mater. You know, said she's got probably, you, you, you can understand that hanyul has got 21, but sechi has got 17, 38 of their, they've only had three players score, Cannon, in this, in this basketball game. And, and they just, everybody understands their role. You can really tell. And Clarkson Lee's going to be a tough out once, uh, once district play comes live. They're you know, ranked, in, uh, ranked in Class C2, playing a very difficult East Husker Conference with Humphrey St. Francis and Humphrey, Lin not, not Humphrey St. Francis, Humphrey Lindsay Holy Family and Oakland Craig and, and just all, Pender is in there. Just a lot of really good basketball teams in that neighborhood of the state. Sliver a minute here. The pressure's on for Northwest. 45-36 to score. Good roll. Loman down low. Still can't get the ball in the basket. And now it's Sechi at that far side. Nine point lead here. Attacking it. Trying to steal the ball away is Mater. Mater trying to use her speed, gets the foul. Really good execution by Clarkson Lee as we've gone through this basketball game. So So it's a one and one here for Kennedy Sechi at the line. Sechi having herself a pretty, pretty awesome ball game. The first one on the way. And that's 20 points in her name. One more, and she ties Honnell with 21 apiece. And the second one on the way. It's good. Great effort from Clarkson Lee today. Coming in this ball game, Honnell averaged 17.5 points per game. Sechi, 14.5, both with 21 in this game. Open lane drive is no good. And a foul on the Vikings. Sometimes you play a game and the ball doesn't go in the basket. Northwest had one of those. They, they maybe only make one basket, I think, in the whole second half. Everything else, I think, has been free throws. Only 11 points. Uh, they, made the, they made a basket and a three, and I think maybe six free throws. So just a really great defensive effort from Clarkson Lee. So Indra is going to shoot a one and one here for... The first one on the way, no good. Rebounded there by Loman. Indra almost got her own rebound. Just under 30 seconds here in this one. Screen set up there. Riley Rice takes the shot off the side of the iron. No good. Brought down by Indra. And good a travel, travel called. There. 19.3, 47-36 is the score here at Carney High School. Again, thank you for tuning in. This is the matchup three of eight of the night. Ten seconds left here. Riley Rice has it. Rice puts up the long three offside. No good. Rebounded by Sechi. And Clarkson Lee is going to get the victory. They're going to win this one by a final score of 47 to 36. And Clarkson Lee improves to nine and three on the year. GI Northwest falls to five and six. Just a fun game between the two. Both teams had a really solid performance here as we're getting ready to hear who the Dairy Queen player of the game is. And yeah, it's Chloe Hanyel. <laughs> There's no doubt about that one. Chloe did a you know, great job all the way through. They really bottled up Riley Rice the last three quarters. She had 10 in the first and only finished with 13. So uh, really a great effort from Clarkson Lee uh, in how they played defense those last three quarters Really interesting, they started out in zone and switched to man. You usually see the opposite, but Coach Murren thought they could they could guard a man-to-man, -man. and really great uh, effort from Clarkson Lee today. And there it is, Chloe Hanyol credit with What a game, absolute game there Hanyol, Hanyol had there, and just an awesome atmosphere for the showcase here. As we're getting ready to send it here court side with Mike Sauter as he'll be stepping up with Chloe Hanyo on this one. To try to get Chloe and, and Coach Mira in here. Just again, a great effort from uh, a great effort from Clarkson Lee. They're trying to get to Mike here real quick. And so with that being said, let's send it down court side with Mike Sauter standing by with Chloe Hanyo on the player of the game. Really great 
aggressive and they are class B, but he said you can't take that into consideration when you're playing. You just have to play your game. And that's exactly what we did, I felt. What was what was important for you tonight? Obviously, um, Rice is a good player. That's a really good matchup with you and her. What was Did, did you think about that at all in, in coming into the game, or um, did that affect you at all? I did. It worried me at first because I had never seen her play, and she was very athletic and quick. But, again, you can't take that into consideration when playing. And I felt like we had definitely had to play defense, and we did that. So it just all worked out really yeah. well for us. Big, big, big win for you guys, right? Can you take this as a little bit of momentum into next week and the rest of the season, knowing that you can compete with you know, a Class B team like that? Definitely. We have four big games coming up against really good teams, and I feel like this was just a big confidence booster, and it'll definitely help in the future. It's kind of like the East Huskers Conference, right? Pretty tough. Yeah. <laughs> all right, congratulations. Thank you. And we're back here. Thank you to Mike Sauter with Foley Hondo, the Dairy Queen player of the game. Man, what a fun game that was. I mean, that was kind of the first non, not as close game as we've seen some, but still an, an awesome game between the two programs. Yeah, you really got to hand it to uh, Clarkson Lee in this one again. As we mentioned, the defensive switch in the second quarter after Northwest scored 19 points in the first quarter really locked them down the rest of the game. Northwest only had two field goals the second half. The rest of them for free throws. They missed a lot of free throws, which would have kept that game uh, a lot closer. So uh, Northwest has had a hard time getting over the hump. They haven't been above 500 uh, yet this year. They've had a couple chances to get above 500, and they uh, and they missed out again today. So they dropped to five and six, and I think nine and three now uh, for Clarkson Lee. Uh, again, just did a great job. Setji and and Setji and Hanyol, uh, really just a nice game. They were patient on offense. There weren't a lot of turnovers. Another thing in a game like that. A, you don't want any live ball turnovers that lead to runouts and layups, and Carson Lee just didn't have any of those, and they were able to control the pace of the game really well. Yeah, it's been a fun one here, and that's going to wrap it up here. Final score, 47-36, Carson Lee take it from the Vikings. Next up, we have Adam Central and Bridgeport, and man, it's going to be a fun one. That one will be as well. Match of four is coming up next, but we'll take a quick break. When we come back, it'll be match of four of the Nebraska Girls Basketball Showcase right here on Strive TV.